Welcome back to Make Way for Cat. We are playing Dark Side Detectives and we are going into case number six, Dawn of the Dead. The chief summoned us all to the debriefing room about a code red citywide issue. Probably zombies if it's Dawn of the Dead. Is everyone here? Good. There are riots all over the city, so it's all hands on deck. That means you too, McLean. Time to do some real police work. Are you sure your iffy stomach is able for- You two stop it. Officer Murakami was wounded in the field, but he's been cleared by medical to give us a briefing on what's happening out there. Thanks, Chief. Guys, I've not seen anything like it before. Hordes of angry citizens shambling around, attacking one another, and smashing up the place. It all seems so mindless. We don't know what's causing this behavior, but we need to get out there and stop it. Be careful out there and good luck. Squad dismissed. Television. Port spike and requests for brain meat? Approached by a hungry looking politician. Productivity levels reach record high. Are you up to date with the latest fashion trends? Old moldy clothes are in while looking alive is out. Yeah, we're dealing with zombies. City is in a state of panic. Can I get a response? Brr. Same old party line. Okay. Uh... Okay, we already did this. According to this, the entire city is in a state of panic, arrests, hospitalizations, collateral damage, and purchase of spooky soundtracks are all up. Bulletin board. My name is next to the museum, a shop downtown, and the old mafia mansion. Looks like it's going to be a busy day. Museum, shop, mafia mansion. Detective, my first day on the job, and we get to tackle a riot. How exciting! Ten bucks, the newbie doesn't make it through the day. Hey, I'll take that bet, McKing. You'll do fine, Detective. Actually, what's your name? Fish. Fresh fish. Okay, let's go. I better get Dooley and hit the road. So these are the two. Turn to the museum first. Ooh, why is the door smashed in? Looks like a break in. Looters? Maybe, but they tend to go for televisions, not tapestries. Let's check it out. Posters? Egyptian themed display at the moment. Squad car. Dinosaur. Impressive specimen. Something's stuck in here, but it's too far for me to reach. I wanted something to take out. Whatever's stuck. After watching extensive historical footage, Twin Lakes researchers believe this beast escaped a Costa Rican theme park in the early 90s. Okay. All skeleton. Plastic skeleton looks like. Scientists think it may be what the human body was modeled on. Fascinating. It's locked. I wonder if I can open it somehow? Curiosity cabinet, short skeleton, an ape, probably. What a fine institute of learning this is. Next. An earth? That looks like a mummy. Brr. Looks like some jewelry is missing. The plaque says the gem of Osiris. Osiris, the Egyptian de death god? I can't help but think that's tied in with what's going on across the city. Sarcophagus? Mummy came from. Scepter. You'd have to be pretty sick to try swallowing that medicine. Well, the scepter is probably long enough to get whatever is stuck in this thing. Slides whatever it ate. Bird bones? He has to stand for something, Tony. Want that? No. What am I supposed to do with bird bones?
Makeshift lock picking kit. Okay, match these bones to the tumblers in the lock and be able to open the cabinet. This guy need a reverse staircase. Let's see what's inside. Rain jar? I prefer pickled onions myself. Alright, let's give giving the brain to him will achieve nothing. Sorry, pickled brain, but I need to take care of some undead business. There we go. There's a case closed pun in here somewhere, but there's just no time. Alright, let's go to the next crime scene. This is where you got McNugget's retirement urn. What a fun party. We spent the entire time chasing around monsters. Chasing memories, you mean. Rash? Springless tennis racket in here. Shop window. Can't make out anything inside. But these flyers advertise some local business. The grain distribution company, Hall and Oats. <laughs> Sanctuary for sensory deprived animals, deaf birds, and the shop I buy my coats in. Police will max. Great. Back alley mystic shops are never run by a McGillicuddy or Sanchez, are they? Says wings. Side. Are those paws? No, they couldn't be. Help, I'm trapped. Get rid of them. Lucky cat. None of these lucky charms work. Is that skull real? That's the skull of the previous shop owner. Her will stipulated I keep it on display at all times. Great. Positive living, feng shui, harnessing the energy of the secret hell beast to control your enemies. <laughs> Healing crystal. Sharp. Oh, I got a crystal. Dreamcatcher. Dropping nightmares. We'll take that. Lantern. 80% of all sales are because customers can't see what they're buying. Tapestry. Now's not the time. Carpet DM, that's what I say. <laughs> Strange box. Chinese puzzle box. I can't figure out how to open it. No idea what's inside. Large trunk. Empty inside. Shopkeeper. Those things are gone. Undead trinkets. Monkey paws all came to life. Not feeling so lucky now. Uh. To catch them. Oh, dream catcher onto. Sharp edges to cut the dream catcher up. Net. That's this area, huh? Locked down. Thank goodness you came, officers. I don't know how else I'd have escaped. You guys, they couldn't send some other cops? The whole force is busy. This is harassment. You called us. Hello again, Mr. Wong. My name is, uh, Detective McQueen. Uh, looks like we've got the wrong guy. What happened here? My lucky rabbit's foot, the monkey paws, the body out back, they all started moving. Body out back? I never said that. You've got no proof. Julie, you hear him? Hmm, what's happening? I tuned out. You were asking so many questions. All this started not long after my store was robbed last night. Found those gremlins in the end. Not in my shop, you didn't. You sold them to Dooley. I couldn't have sold him something that doesn't exist. Wink. You just said wink to me. No, I didn't. Last night, some goons floated in. They smashed the place up and took some inherently, entirely legal ritual components. Ritual components doesn't sound legal. Good thing for me that the evidence was stolen then. Floated in? Yep, floated in in a green haze. That sounds like Darksiders to me. I don't think we'll find anything else here, Dooley. I'm not sure what di Darksiders are doing here, but we need to get to the next crime scene. Mansion. We have reports of a break-in at the Don's old mansion. Let's check it out. Detective, the city is in chaos. Surely we've better things to focus on than a derelict building. 
We don't know who they are or why they broke in. This mansion belonged to a mafia, Don. For all we know, there is a hidden weapon cache in here. Given how crazy things are across the city today, whatever they want, we had better make sure they don't get. He made it. Palm trees. A beachside property, gargoyles. Eight signs, stay, stay out. The law doesn't apply to us, only in this particular case. See? Okay, let's go in. Strange equipment, this must belong to whoever is in there. This stuff looks dangerous, I'd better power it down for now. Battery. Window, boarded up windows make it hard to see inside. Sign, a condemned sign. <laughs> sign looks perfectly fine to me. Uh, sir, you can't be here. This place is condemned. Brains. That's not right. Is there somebody there? Yes, are you okay? I'd be a lot better if I wasn't trapped in here by that thing. Rrrg. Hold on, we'll do something. Seems to be stuck. We need to cut that with something. Don Caffoni. That's one mean-looking mobster. He was also mean-acting. Do you think those two facts are related? Surprisingly tame couch for a mob boss to have in his house. Side table. Boop -ba doop -ba doop Great. Give me a knife. Can't open this one. I wonder what treasures are inside. Not enough to force it open, however. Open cupboard. Candles. Okay, now we need a match, if that's the case. No knives, scissors, or other sharp objects. What a convenient inconvenience. Up. Taking their sponge. Steel wool. Cutlery drawer, yep. Oven. Long forgotten roast chicken in there. It's not edible, Dooley. Sink. I wouldn't put my hand in there for any reward. Pots. Somebody ruined our pots by melting marshmallow in them. What a stink. Somebody forgot to clean out the fridge when this place was condemned. Anything in there I can eat? No. Buying me pancakes. Pancakes sound awesome. Missing drawer? Where did this go? What kind of looter takes one drawer? Uh... And light a candle and burn the rope. It's the best to try something. Just need this to magically float? No, that's odd. Steel wool on the battery. Make a fire starter. Okay. Fire starter candle. Side table. Okay. Boom. Beautiful. It's safe to come out now. Detective, is now a good time to mention I'm allergic to fire? Roxa? You guys, I owe you big time. She's ghost hunting in here. What were you doing here? Actually, for no reason. No reason at all. We should go outside before you tell us. Oh my gosh. The mansion's on fire. Thanks for saving me back there. You okay? Thanks to you guys. What's with the get up? I'm an ink spookter now. <laughs> an ink spookter. Since I kept finding myself at weird goings ons, I licensed myself a franchise. He's a Ghostbuster. <laughs> and there was a localized storm here last night, so I knew that meant something was happening after the events at the library. Good catch. Is this your equipment? It is. It's a spooktometer. Do you like it? It reads for spooktivity. I brought it with me to help get readings. I got trapped in that room and didn't get to look at the readings yet. Trapped by that creature? Later, yes, but not at first. There were people here, searching the place. Their accents were hard to understand, but they were looking for the dawn. 
He's been dead for a while. Yeah, they left when they realized that. I waited a while to make sure they didn't come back, but then that thing burst out of the floor and I was trapped again. Out of the floor. That might have been the dawn. So what do the readings say? The battery's missing. Uh, thankfully, there's a printout inside it. Give me a second while I open it up. Wow, lots of spook drill readings. Whoever, whatever was looking for the dawn, they weren't human. Julie, I just figured it out. Darksiders aren't looking for something at the dawn's house. They're looking for the dawn. But you said he was dead. Which is why they took the gem of Osiris and the ritual components. They're trying to resurrect him. Wow, Detective, what an amazing coincidence that every place the Chief sent us was tied in so tightly with what's really going on. If we had been sent to even one different location, you may never have pieced it all together. There's no time to work out the undoubtedly small probability of things having worked out like this. We need to get to the graveyard, and fast. We can't let him return. We should probably leave too, Roxa. Because of that fire you started? Fire? What fire? You must be seeing things. Probably starved from being inside. Bad for the mind. Make sure you eat something when you leave. Which you should do now, for food, not fire. I think that went smoothly. <laughs> Telescope? I wonder if we can get an overview of the situation from here. What I feared, the place is swarming with zombies. These must be the dark saggers we've heard about. They look like mobsters. They're firing at somebody inside the church. I can't make out who, though. Look, Dooley, over there. That's some bad mumbo-jumbo happening at the crypt. We need to stop them from bringing the dawn back. See that constellation, Detective? That's called stars. <laughs> Alright, graveyard we go. Urg, rawr. No doubt about it. They're zombies, alright. Looks like we're not getting in that way. Right? Okay, we can only right. Bell tower. Hey, bros, I need help. I'm being confronted with dangers to both my physical self and my dogmatic views on the universe here. Somebody trapped in the church. If we don't get in and help them, they'll be zombie fodder. Okay, there's nothing else. Nothing I can take. Zombies, okay. Looking dumpster, of course. Oil can. Can't reach it though. Box. Plank. Infested with termites. Not putting that in my pocket. Alright, we can't get the oil plank. Okay. Come back for that broken railing. The wall is too high to jump over. Duly, give me a boost. I would, detective, but I put my back out in the gym this morning. I'm going to have to find another way. There's the dumpster. Wheels seem to be rusted. We need the oil can out to unrust the wheels to move. Oh. Covered by the massive dumpster. We do it that way too. Street light. How many cops does it take to change a light bulb? No idea, but thankfully it's working, so not our concern. Also, street lights fall under the city maintenance department and not the police. I thought you'd know that, detective. Okay, wait, how am I supposed to... Wheels are rusted, but I can't get this out unless I have something long. Can't quite reach it. Okay, close the dumpster. Water tower in the graveyard. Odd. That's for low-budget holy water. The priest can bless it after a heavy rain. Broken railing. That. Okay, we need to find something. Need this nightstick to keep the welcoming party at bay. Okay, there we go. Nightstick. Oil can. Something with a better grip. What? Uh, plank. 
Uh, box. Uh, Julie. Okay. Weird. Him with a better grip. Stick. Well, its hand broke off, but it doesn't seem to care. Got a zombie arm. Okay, great. Ah, uh, that's... that's gross, but okay. Did it. Oil can on the wheels. Not the manhole. Wheels oiled up, pushes his position. I'll go over the wall, you go through the sewers. Hopefully that one of us can... Save those people and stop the dawn. I don't like tunnels. <laughs> Not the time, buddy. The city needs us. Yeah? Be careful. You too, buddy. You too. Oh, we're split. Hey, okay, pipes. This is how the government pumps dihydrogen monoxide into our homes. Monsters. Yep. Great. No doubt this is a secret bolt hole for government informants. Sewer grate blocked off by large gate. Gate, gate. Uh, okay. TV show on Urban Legends. What nonsense. Sewer Gator. Hey, little guy. What are you doing down here? I'm watching my stories. Leave them a bee. A gator. In the sewers. Watching TV. Well, that story checks out to me. Enjoy, mister. Just keep an eye out for cannibals. <laughs> Nothing I can grab here. No. No, no, no. Electrical and political. <laughs> Paper boat. That boat's not- Oh, no. Paper boat and evil clown. I'm not a fan of the it reference, thank you. That boat's not the only thing floating down here. Hi, Dooley. Aren't you gonna say hello? Pound smart. Any wise pound smart. <laughs> One second there, guy. What's a clown doing down here? This isn't a circus. Eh, I give balloons to wayward kitties. You know. And, uh, there's cotton candy and rides and all sorts of, um, surprises down here. Surprises? Did I mention the balloons come in all colors? Hmm, I see no harm in any of this. Good on you for making sure those lost kids aren't frightened. Um, thanks? As you were. You too? Something else. Wow, there's a bunch of people down here. What's happening? Work sign. Gents, interesting sign you have there. Um, thanks. What, uh, what are you working on? Us? We're repairing the power lines. You've noticed all those flickering lights across the city recently? We're gonna fix that. That sure is great. A great excuse. Do you think I'm an idiot? Uh, I see your sign. That's an inverted eye. You guys are eye masons. Refrigerate! What? No, the other one. Freeze! I meant freeze! This is why so many of my TV dinners spoil. Wrap your stuff and get out of here. I'd arrest you, but I have places to be. What are you talking? We're just here to... F Resisting arrest, is it? I guess we gotta listen to officer and take rest of the day off, Tyrese. Sure. It'll be nice to get home to family early for a change. Alright, now we can steal all their stuff. Ongo hammer? Oh, a jackhammer. Three construction parts. Hole in the wall. Digging a hole to the... Planet hidden inside our planet? Are building a lair for the lizard people to secretly rule over us? Oh, man. Uli, you are interesting. Smash those lemons with a hammer. Send the lemons' carcasses back to life so it knows to mess with you. Um, text. Looky here, Slim. We got a stray zombie. Heh, <laughs> yeah, stray. Fire a few rounds to chase it off and be thankful that we ain't got a horde to deal with. <laughs> yeah, horde. Shh. 
shed. Okay, so we can't go to the crypt yet. We've been breached. Charge. Uh, wait. Frankie, I do apologize. I thought you were the, the hun. Come to munch on my brain for military secrets. But I can tell now you're a Yankee boy. It's in the stance, not rigid enough. Shoulders like a melted ice cream on a sunny Sunday morning. Uh, gas mask? Hands off, old boy. Those huns outside smell dreadful. That mask is my only protection. I'm afraid you can't have that, old chap. I need it to bash zombie Fritz should he try to enter my bunker. Boots? They're yours. Okay. Not normal boots. They've got metal sockets in them. He had mechanical legs. Needed special shoes that would click on. That's why I have no use for him. How generous. Okay. And a helmet. Poor form to comment on another man's piece, old chap. Stove, so nice and warm, another reason to not want to go back out there. Built it myself from plane parts after I was shot down here during the Great War. I said Great War, but really it was a mediocre at best. Maybe something else would click in. I can't get in there just yet. Digger. Can I go back this way? Water tower. Okay. Tower legs. So this tower looked badly damaged. Ladder up. Seems to be full with rainwater. Moon. I think it's time we're a little talk about this. Front of church. Here we go. Rains. I can't pass by them, but maybe I can find a way to go over them and get in through that broken window. You get out of here before I get munched on. Scaffolding. Piece of this could prove handy. Scaffolding, front of church. Boots. Stilts. Using stilts. They can't get me all the way up here. Shot out the window, giving me a hand way in. Agent McScream? What are you doing here? What are any of us doing here? Helpful as ever. I need to save whoever is trapped in the bell tower, then figure out a plan to get to the crypt and stop that ritual. Okay. Chief Ghoulie. What are you doing on the bright side? My stomach hurts. Been shot, son, right in the gut. Okay, so it was you and McScream those goons were shooting at. Get it where, son. Burning up from the inside out, I am. Dark side bullets is not like yours. What with them being full of cursed components, as it were. What can I do to help? Can we remove the bullet? Cannot be removed normally, son. I need some purified water to wash the badness out. Okay. Sensor. Old caked-in, moldy-smelling incense. Window. Handle. Estuary. Letter opener. Great. Blocky dog's calendar. Of course. Redder. Tear up clothes. That might be good to remember for later. Chair. I couldn't confiscate this for the case, could I? Else in here. Get back, demon bro. Great, now I'm soaked. Gnarly, thought you were a hollow head. Total wipeout on my end, bro. Right, do you have a towel I can borrow? Sports bag, an assortment of extreme sporting goods from scuba tanks to hang gliders and oddly face paints. Why do you have all this? 
Dude, I like to extreme to the max, and you can't extreme to the max without painting your face. Scuba tank is bust. I lost the mouthpiece. I'm gonna have to throw it out. Mind if I take it? Sure, dude, enjoy. Scuba tank. A letter opener. Sorry for the washout, dude. Uh, holy water. No, I came to save you. Are you okay? Happy to be topside and not drowning in a swell of undead. Need to get you out of here. If you can cause a break in that wave of undead, I can get myself out, dude. Cause a break in that wave of undead. Like the surfer listens to the sea. Maybe you should listen to the dead? Uh, actually, that might work. Good idea. The Lord speaks through me, Brosef. It's without the sports gear. Meant to be an extreme sports holiday, but I stayed to bless some babies. Bro, I will not make that mistake again. Can I have some holy water? Crap, dude. Happy to share the Lord's liquid. Don't say it like that. I'm way low right now. Wasted my last wipeout on you, but you can have my dregs. But dude, it's not enough to mush a hollow. It's okay. We just need it to save a dude. Church bell. I'll shit myself. Hey, okay, holy water for you. Use this to wash out your wound. Much better. Thank you, son. Okay. Scuba tank plus a letter opener. That sounds like a... A blast. Unintended. So here's outside. Only I could understand them. He's still festering in the pits of agony. He's recovering now. Only if you consider getting better to be recovering. Right. Do you think you can teach me to talk to zombies? Are we not all, in a way, zombies? Listen closely. Sometime later. Huh. That was easier than I thought. Everything is easy for the ignorant. Hey. Okay, let's find out what those zombies are saying. Brains, brains, brains. Brains, brains. They seem angry and confused. If I could disguise myself as one of them, I think I could unionize them and lead them away from the church. I need to find a way to make myself look and smell less alive. Alright, we got a shredder in the... vestry. Sorry, Cope, but I need to look more undeadish. Great. And... Smell less... Can you use your face paints to make me look undead? I can do that 110%, bro. Your scents only go up to 100... 110, bro. 110. Fine. Great. Sensor. Moldy caked, moldy smelling incense. If I can find a way to scrape some of it loose... Oop. Smell less alive and done. Boy, that stinks. I should be able to pass as one of them now. Brains. 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 Brains, 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 brains. Brains. Okay. They've agreed to unionize under my leadership. Time to go talk to the people who brought them back. Oh, they're coming with me. Mamma Mia, it's a zombie horde. Run, Slim. <laughs> yeah, run. Take the car key. Our mafia car. Good solid car. Woe we'll betide anything that this crashed into. Driving away when I'm so close. Okay, so I'll need that for later, maybe? Stop right there. Too late, bright cider. Rar, I live. He is no zombie. He is a human, you fools. Brains? Oh no. Destroy him. Brains. So this is how it ends. Not with a bang, but with me whimpering. I think this is about to give. Dooley, he's trapped under rubble with all those zombies. I need to save him. The priest said that holy water turned them into mush. But where would I find enough of it? The water tower? 
Use it to paint those markings and summon corpse zones. Soul into our Don's body. Magical paint. I'll put the ladder on over the hole in the floor. To get me across. I have everything I need, though. Semi-conscious. Not trying to eat him, though. Into the water tower would give me enough water, but it's not holy. Plus, Dooley would drown, too. You need to fix those problems first. I have a scuba tank. I don't have a mask, though. Magical paint. Car key. I need a mask. Oh, this episode's going really long. Pipe? Access water to run into the sewers. So I need to drive the car. Mask though, I found the dark z No, all that zombie talk earlier tired me out. I must rest my eyes. <laughs> That's a no. Feel better now? Much better. Okay, I found the Don and his crew. They're trapped below the crypt and Dooley is trapped there with them. Where does it has you talking to me then? Who has the rescue to stage? Up to it. Mask. Bro, are you for real, bro? I got all the undead into the sewers and need to flush them out fast. I've been waiting to be asked to churn out that much god juice like literally forever. You have a distinct way of talking about your faith. What can I say, bro? The Lord's my surf guy. We hang tight and hang often, and I want to bring the whole world out on the waves with us. But we, the Lord and I, take safety mucho serious, so take this life ring with you, in case you get caught up in the flood. Flood to wash the sinners away. Super biblical, bro. Super biblical. Dude, bro, I'm gonna go do my thing, bro. May the big G be on your side. What, did he, what was he gonna go do? I don't need to be here. I need to... Air supply. No mouthpiece. What can I use for a mouthpiece? I'm actually going to cut this video here. It's actually run very long. And when we come back, I'll finish out this episode. So thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.